Defence Initiative provides the UK Ministry of Defence with four Roland, Merloff, Moro, ships available to deliver military vehicles and other equipment around the globe. Here we look at these ships, plans to replace them in their tasks, including recent work to reinforce the British Army in Europe. The 1998 Defence Review identified a need for six Roro vessels to provide logistics support for joint rapid reaction forces and mod freighting tasks. Reliance on ad hoc charters or ships taken up from trade, stuffed, was seen as both expensive in peacetime and uncertain during times of conflict especially as the UK merchant fleet continued to shrink. Designated Project SRC 7047, in October 2000, the MOD signed a 25-year contract with AWSR Shipping to provide six vessels, funded through a pound 1.25 BN private finance initiative. AWSR was responsible for constructing the ships and providing all British crews that are eligible to be called out as sponsored Royal Navy Reservists, under the Reserve Forces Act 1996, if operational requirements demanded. AWSR was a consortium formed specifically for the contract by Andrew Weir, Holder Offshore Engineering Limited, James Fisher Amp, Sons PLC and Bibby Line Limited it is now known as Now Foil and Shipping Limited, FSL. In 2013, James Fisher PLC sold its 25% shareholding in Foiland to the Headley Shipping Group which now owns FSL in its entirety. The PFI agreement allowed FSL to generate revenue by employing two of the ships in the commercial market while ensuring that they were available at 30 days notice for defense tasking in an emergency. The remaining four vessels were allocated to routine transport duties but remain property of FSL and the MOD is not under obligation to buy them when the contract expires at the end of 2024. The vessels were ordered from Flensburger Schiffbau Gesellschaft, FSG, in northern Germany. FSG built four of the ships, all named after British lighthouses, Hurst Point, delivered August 2002, Eddystone, November 2002, Longstone, January 2003, and Beachy Head, August 2003, Harland and Wolfe, Belfast was subcontracted to build two ships, Hartland Point, Deck 2002, and Anvil Point, March 2003. Although the firm remains active in ship repair and offshore energy, Anvil Point was the last complete ship to be built by HMW to date. Construction and delivery was exceptionally efficient and all six ships were in service by 2003, around 18 months ahead of the original schedule, 